at least 90% of you guys watching this own a phone. Some of you may even be watching this on a phone, but shockingly, your phone can do a lot more than just watch top 10 videos on YouTube. I know, right? I was surprised too. All joking aside, there may come a time in your life where your phone could mean the difference between life and death. This is information you do not want to miss out on. My name is Danny Burke. Let's get into the top 10 ways your phone can save your life. Coming in at number 10, we have first aid. There are a number of apps out there that contain every bit of first aid knowledge in an easy to access way. Giving someone first aid before medical help arrives can make it a lot easier to treat them. It can even save their life if they are choking, bleeding out, or having a seizure. If something awful like this ever happens to you, make sure you've told your family and friends about the first aid app on your phone. Unlike a big first aid book, apps like this allow people to quickly zone in on the exact information they need. It's simple, it's quick, and it could easily save your life or even someone else's. All right, at number nine now, we have Hey Siri. Siri is the assistant for iPhones. Other phones have their own versions. Either way, they can save your life. I'm sure you know you can activate Siri using just your voice. I use it to ask Siri what the weather will be as I'm getting dressed in the morning, but there is a life-saving use for it too. If you're ever in a situation where you just can't use your hands or you can't reach your phone, talking to Siri might be your only option. You can tell Siri to call or text any number, or if the person is already in your contacts list, you can just say their name, and it could save your life. At number eight now, we have medical ID. For a long time, if a person got into an accident or they needed medical help, one of the first things that doctors, nurses, or paramedics would check would be the patient's medical ID card, usually in their bag or wallet or whatever. Nowadays though, there's an app for that. The health app, for example, will instantly tell medical staff what your allergies and reactions are, what your blood type is, and who they should contact to let them know what has just happened. Simply knowing these things can save them precious seconds so that they can save you. At number seven now, we have downloading offline maps. This is something that everyone should do because it just makes sense. If you're ever going to somewhere new or unfamiliar, perhaps a foreign country where you won't have phone signal, Google lets you download offline maps. All you have to do is tap on any location and you'll see an option to download the entire area for just a few hundred megabytes. If you're scared of getting lost in a strange place and not knowing where you are, offline maps can be a lifesaver. At number six now, it can detect Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's is a degenerative disease that can be treated a lot better if detected early. Well, there's an app for that now. The Pocket Doctor app can detect Parkinson's simply by just being in your pocket. All you do is walk 20 steps and it will tell you with 98% accuracy if you are in the early stages of Parkinson's based on tiny micro movements that you couldn't notice otherwise. It also uses speech to detect tremors in your voice long before other symptoms arrive. This gives patients an early warning system that could vastly improve their treatment. Coming at number five now, we have Lifeline Response. This app sounds like something out of a futuristic movie, or maybe I'm just getting old. This is for people who feel unsafe when they are out and about, especially if they're on their own or it's dark. If you feel threatened, you simply hold your thumb down on the screen for an amount of time that you can decide on, and once you let go, it will send your location to your family or friends, or it can even call the police for you. This is great if you ever find yourself in a situation where you can't just say, hey Siri, or just start calling numbers in your phone, a simple thumb tap might be your only option. At number four now, we have the Find Me apps. There are a lot of apps out there that share your location with people that you don't really want to share it with. The Find Friends app or the Find My Phone app lets you choose who can see where you are. If you're heading home late from somewhere, your family can see that you're still on course. If you somehow get knocked unconscious and need medical assistance, apps like this this are a beacon that let help get to you as fast as possible. All right, at number three now, we have the flashlight. In the UK, we call this a torch, but either way, you know what it is, the bright light that every smartphone can emit. In the early days of mobile phones, the light was either very dim or just non-existent. These days though, the light is more than enough to illuminate a dark room or to see what's in front of you at night. There are countless situations where just having a little bit of light like this could save your life, especially in the outdoors. Although modern day flashlights Flashlights are still many times more powerful. It's nice to know that your phone could give you that tiny bit of light in your darkest moments. 
Oh, that sounded intense. Okay, at the number two spot now we have the stethoscope. A stethoscope is what doctors use to listen to your heartbeat, but thanks to your phone's microphone, they can do it too. Probably the most famous app for this is the Listening to the Heart app by Andrew Johnson. It contains a database of heartbeats that belong to hearts that have a serious medical condition. If you hold your phone to your own heart and let it listen, it will either tell you that you have no abnormalities or it will match it with the heartbeat of a serious medical condition. Knowing this in advance can buy your doctors precious time to help treat you. And finally number one now we have skin vision. This one is fascinating. Skin vision is an app that will look at your skin in a way you simply cannot do with your own eyes and it will tell you if there is a problem. A lot of people think that skin cancer is only detectable when it's clearly visible but that's not true. Skin vision will analyze the spots and marks on your skin to tell you if you have a low, medium or high risk of developing cancer. It will also do the same with spots and moles to tell you if they are just harmless or a real cause for concern. And you know what? I now have a newfound appreciation for my phone. I really do. Don't get me wrong, its primary function is to still watch hours of YouTube videos and make the occasional text, but I'm definitely going to look into some of the apps we've talked about today. What about you guys? Let me know what video you want to see on the channel next. I'm Danny Burke. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.